So far, this program has been amazing. It's been so immersive. Prior to this, I have seen VR to be something that would slow down our production process. Now my mind is blown. Day one, we were allowed to put on the headsets and let loose and explore. To actually have people at YouTube who are beyond well-versed in this kind of stuff, it only helps to make the things that the creators are trying to do more streamlined. There's a lot of different things on the technical side that there is to learn and just the space in between. And it's cool like for events and stuff because like it's like you're actually there. Maybe one could be a makeup tutorial um, where they get to see his layout of his makeup because not many people get to see that. It actually literally feels like you're hanging out with him and like talking yeah. with him. I'm gonna be doing fashion lookbooks in different like national parks. One of our favorites, we have a series that's called Don't Try to Look Back, where essentially like you're trying not to turn around and look at something, so something really exciting is happening behind you, you can't turn around. But then we can also get them into a seat of whether it's like the writer's room or straight from the heart where you're sitting next to Kevin Hart, it's like you're in that moment. How can we push VR further? How can we use this where people are like, you know what, I can't not view it in VR anymore. I need to experience this. If you're just starting VR for the first time, I mean, it. It's like anything creative in life, like get out there and start doing it and like make mistakes. There are a lot of people in the lab right now who have not had any experience and they feel like this is doable. The Creator Lab has enabled me to be able to walk outside the door and start filming, start shooting, start editing now. I recommend the Art Creator Lab. <laughs>